Okay. All right, part two, abs, abs, glutes, back. So we're gonna start with abs. So we're gonna come onto our backs for this. So if you normally take my classes and you like to use the magic circle or the little Pilates ball or any other kind of prop and you have something that will substitute as a prop here, maybe a yoga block or anything, feel free to use it, but I'm going to teach without props since I figure most people probably don't have any. So we're going to start with roll-ups. So when you do a roll-up, you're going to lay on your back. Um, you're going to extend your arms overhead. You're going to inhale. The first thing you need to do is press your spine into the floor and then bring yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Exhale to reach forward and stretch. Inhale to straighten back up. Keep your spine straight, exhale, and round it down. So the bottom of your spine touches first, then the middle, and then the top. You can also do this with your arms crossed in front of your chest or behind your head, which makes it harder. And you can do it by bringing your knees up and in with you and back and down with you to make it easier, okay? So pick your position. Sassy's drinking the water. <laughs> Sassy, that was for me. Oh, cats, pick your position. We're gonna go ahead, inhale, press into the floor, bring yourself up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, round it back down. Go ahead, give me four more of these. At your own pace, with your own breath. It's okay if your legs come up off the floor as you're doing this. Um, the slower you go, the better. So it's also okay if you're doing this really slowly. That means you're using your abs, which is good. One more. And then this time, once you're down, go ahead and bring your knees in, hug them into your chest. We're gonna do the 100 next. So normally in my class, we do 100 seconds, but I don't have a clock with a second hand right now. So we're gonna just do 100 breaths. So that's actually a stroke of luck, probably for all of us, unless you've all been keeping up with your hundreds since we've been on break here. Um, so when you do the 100, you're gonna have your legs extended, your tummy tight, spine pressed into the floor. You're gonna lift head and shoulders up and reach your arms forward. Inhale as you pump your arms for five breaths and then exhale as you pump. I'm just flipping mine to help myself remember if I'm telling you to inhale or exhale. You can flip if you want. You can make this harder by lowering your legs. Always keep your lower back on the floor though. If it starts to arch up, then your legs are too low. Lift them back up. You can make it easier by bending your knees. If your neck starts to cramp, you want to be looking at the ceiling. That will help. Don't look down. But if your neck starts to cramp anyway, you can put it down and you can continue doing the hundred like this. Just don't lower your legs too much. Okay. So pick your position. Legs are up. Tummy is tight. And we're going to lift head and shoulders up. Look at the ceiling. Reach your arms forward and inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Good. Inhale. Remember, look at the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Really pull that tummy tight, pressing your spine into the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Really reach forward the arms, stretching through the shoulders. Exhale. Stretching through the fingers. Inhale, and keep your legs really engaged and tight. Even if they're bent, still kind of trying to engage. Exhale. Inhale, we're almost there. Tummy stays tight, tight, tight. Exhale. 
Three more. Inhale. Remember, if your neck starts to hurt, exhale. Go ahead and put it on the floor. Just lift the legs higher or bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale. And last inhale. Two, three, four, five. Last exhale. Two, three, four, five. And knees come in. Relax. Turn your head side to side. Let your neck, neck relax, because even if you did everything right, it's probably a little sore. And then wiggle your hips side to side. Good. All right. We're going to do single leg circles now. So we're going to extend the legs straight on the ground and then lift one up towards the ceiling. If you can keep your back flat on the floor in this position, then you're good like this. If not, bend your other knee to help support you. You can also lift this leg just off the floor, which will keep your back pressed on the floor, but be harder. We're going to take this leg. We're going to inhale across the body, exhale around, and stop at the top. Inhale and exhale. I don't care how big your circle is. I just want you to keep it controlled and really keep your tummy tight. One more. And we reverse out and around. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, one more. And that knee comes in. Stretch. Good. And then switch. Other leg up, other leg extended. If you needed to bend your knee, do so. If you wanted to lift the leg, do so. We're going to inhale across, exhale around. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, one more. Reverse out and around. Inhale and exhale. Three, two, one more. Good, bring that knee in, stretch it out. Well, now, we're gonna do the same thing, but with both legs extended at the same time. So when you make your circle here, it might feel weird on your back. If that is the case for you, please put your hands under your tailbone. That's gonna give you support under your lower back, and just don't lower your legs too much with your circle. Otherwise, you can keep your arms at the sides, or you can extend them or lift them, and let your core do the brunt of the balancing here. We're going to inhale to one side, exhale around and back up. Inhale and exhale again. I don't care how big your circle is. It's okay if your hips lift off the ground when you come up. It's just a little harder. Let's reverse it. Out and around. Inhale and exhale. Three. Two, one more. And knees come in, breathe. We're gonna do the stomach series next. So as you rest, I'm gonna show you these exercises and how they're gonna go. We're gonna do eight slow bicycles. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Then eight fast. Then we're gonna grab the inside of the knee, outside of the ankle, pump, pump, switch, pump, pump, switch eight times. Then eight singles. Then we're gonna straighten the leg, pump, pump, switch. Pump, pump, switch eight times, singles, and then doubles, and then singles. So when you do those, try to keep your head and shoulders lifted if you can, but if it becomes too hard to do so, put your head and shoulders on the ground. Um, you don't want your, low, your neck and shoulders to start straining, so if you're feeling that in there, just rest them. You can do all of these like this, okay? So, starting with the bicycles, elbow to knee, tummy is tight, inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Look at your outside elbow. Exhale every time you twist. Two more. And we're going to go faster here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Grab the inside of the knee, outside of the ankle. Pump, pump, switch. Pump, pump, switch. Inhale. 
Exhale, look at the ceiling, nod at your body. One more double, and singles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the leg, pump, pump, switch, pump, pump, switch. Inhale, exhale, four, three, two, singles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, breathe. Nice. So we're going to do the little lower ab segment here for part two of our stomach series today. So for this one, we're going to do three exercises. And for the first two, I want you to keep your legs apart. Um, if you do have a yoga block, you can put it between your knees. That can kind of help with that. If you don't, though, just pretend you have something keeping your legs about hip width apart. Um, and then for the third one, we will glue our legs together. So they're going to look like this. You're going to have your legs bent like this. And you're going to go out and then back in. Shins stay parallel to the ceiling. The second one, we're going to drop the toes and then lift the toes. So notice my knees stay exactly the same. I'm working through my, from my hips here using my lower abs. Then we're going to extend the legs lower and lift. Those are the three moves. So you can do it with your head and shoulders up like I just did, but the other option is hands under the tailbone, doing them like this. So this is a little easier. It's also good if you have lower back issues or if you're really tired at this point. Okay? And this will be the last thing we do for abs. And then we'll move on to glutes. So head and shoulders up or hands under the tailbone. Knees are bent, tummy is tight. We're going to exhale out, inhale in. I lied. Inhale out, exhale in. Out and in. Out and in for four, three, two, one more. Good. And now we're going to lower the toes and lift the toes. Knees stay the same. Inhale down, exhale up. Tummy really tight. Good. For four, three, two, one more, and extend, and we lower, and lift. Only go as low as your lower back lets you. Don't let it lift off the floor. If it is, you're going too low. Keep breathing. Tummy tight. Three more. Two. One more, knees in, relax, good job. Turn your head side to side. And then wiggle your hips side to side. Abs are done. So we're gonna move into glutes. So we're gonna stand our backs for these. So, if you have a block and you want to put it between your um, knees for this, then you can do so. There's a variation I do where you squeeze your thighs together and then release. You have like something between your thighs and then you squeeze and then you pulse. It's pretty challenging and fun. I'm not going to do that version today because I don't know if everybody has something to put between their knees and I don't at the moment. So if you do feel free to substitute and do the other version that we do in class. So legs are hip width apart, feet on the floor, knees hip width apart. I said that already. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your pelvic floor in and pick yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Press up towards the ceiling. This part should feel really delicious. Inhale, Exhale, roll down, let the top of your spine touch first, round so your middle touches, then your lower back, then release. Let's do another just like that. Inhale, exhale, peel it up. Inhale, exhale, roll it back down. Well, let's do one more slow because it feels so good. Inhale, exhale it up. 
Inhale. Exhale. Roll it back down. Ooh, yay. Okay, now we're going to go double time. So now we're going to just squeeze up the hips and lower. You're squeezing your butt and releasing. Squeeze, release, up and down for four, three, two, hold it up and pulse, four, five, five, four, three, two, good. We're going to extend one leg, pulse, four, five, five, four, three, two. Now hold it here, squeeze your butt, lower this leg and lift. Only lower as much as you can while still keeping your other butt cheek tight and squeezed and engaged for four, three, two, one more. Good, that leg comes down, extend the other, pulse, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, hold, squeeze your butt cheek, lower and lift, lower and lift, down and up down and up for four, three, two, one more. Good, both feet down, knees bent, pulse them both for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squeeze, inhale, exhale, and lower. Whew. Keep your knees bent and let them flop side to side like windshield wipers. And then when you're ready, roll onto your belly. We're going to just do some back stuff. And then we're going to stretch it out. I'm going to check and make sure we're still recording. And we are. Good. All right, so let's come on to our tummies here. So we're going to start with Sphinx. So our elbows are at our sides for this, forearms are on the floor, and we're going to, elbows, we're going to think about pulling the elbows in towards us, so our chest is inching forward, inhale, and then exhale, press up into the floor, really lengthening through that upper back, forward and up. Really engaged here, pressing into the floor with the arms. Inhale, exhale, back down. We're gonna slide these hands next to the chest. Squeeze your elbows into your sides. Inhale, exhale, press up higher. If this doesn't work for you, you can do Sphinx again. If you can straighten all the way, that's fine. Otherwise, you can keep this bent. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Don't let yourself sink into your shoulders here. Inhale. Exhale and lower. Good. Um, we're going to put our hands under our foreheads here. And from here, we're going to keep our legs relaxed on the floor. We're going to inhale, lift the upper body. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale down. Up and lower. Up and lower. One more and down relax here now we're going to lift the legs up lower keep them straight squeezing the butt to lift the legs and then we're going to hold those up lift the upper body if you have space you can extend your arms here inhale exhale one more inhale and exhale and lower and turn your cheek so it's facing me. Clasp your hands up on your back like this. It's the last thing we're gonna do before we stretch. We're gonna beat our heels in three times. Beat, 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 and then inhale, lift. Your legs come to the floor, your upper body is up. We're gonna exhale, lower down. Beat, 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 up and lower good two more feet 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 inhale and exhale 
Last one, beat, 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 and inhale, and exhale. <sighs> Good. Put your hands next to your chest. We're gonna inhale, and then exhale. Push up to hands and knees. We're gonna start our stretching with that cat cow child combo we did in the beginning. So inhale, arching the back. Exhale, rounding and pushing down onto your heels, just like before. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, tuck and round it down. And give me three, four more at your own pace. Breathing with it. And then when you are done with your last one, you're gonna sink back in your child's pose. Let your forehead find the floor. Bring your hands behind, palms up next to your ankles. Just relax here. Inhale. Exhale. And one more inhale. And exhale. And lower yourself up. Good. We're going to extend the legs in front of us. Sit nice and tall here. Again, you can sit on a block if you need to, if that's better for you. We're going to stay nice and tall. Flex your feet, so pulling your toes in towards you, pressing your chest in towards your toes. We're going to reach our arms forward here, nice and tall. And then we're going to inhale and just round the back. Exhale, straightening back up. Inhale, round. Good. Exhale, straighten. And one more time, round and straighten, and then we're gonna open, arms to the sides, palms down, inhale, exhale, twist, look behind you, tummy stays tight, posture straight, inhale, exhale, twist the other way, inhale, exhale and twist, inhale, exhale and twist. Good, inhale back to center. Arms come up, we're gonna exhale, folding forward, reaching towards those feet. If you can't touch them, that's okay, but you're gonna really stretch forward so you feel the stretch down the backs of your legs. If you can grab for your toes, feel free to pull yourself forward, keep your back flat, keep your chest lifted. And then release, relax your legs. Inhale up, exhale forward, and this time, let yourself just round down wherever you are. Inhale, and exhale, and come on back up. Good. We're going to come into the straddle. It does not have to be crazy wide. Legs open enough so that you can still sit nice and tall, posture straight. We're going to put one hand in front, inhale the other arm up, exhale over to the side, and then use this arm to help twist you up, reaching towards the ceiling, chest lifting up towards the ceiling. More flexible people can grab their toes and push through. Most of us will be here. Inhale back up, and exhale, switch. Really thinking about that twist, you should be feeling this in your lower back and your hip area. Maybe in your upper back and shoulder area too, but in the side of your body. And inhale back up. Now we're going to turn over the foot. You can keep this leg relaxed and exhale. And it's like you're pretending to fold in half. So if you just come to here, stay there and just stretch. Don't flatten your back. If you can fold down further, go ahead and do so. If you're really flexible, come to the outside of that leg. Let yourself collapse down. Come on back up, switch to the other side, inhale, exhale forward. And again, if you're 
just here, stay here, chest lifted. You can see how different this side is for me than the other side and how I'm really just focusing on trying to keep the posture of the flat back. Because if I round down, I'm losing the stretch. It's all about this extension. I'm coming back up, my hands in the center. And let's go ahead and make some little circles around in one direction. If you want, you can make your circles a little deeper each time. And then go the other way. And then come back to the center, nice and tall, hands in front, inhale, exhale, pull the shoulders down, chest forward, tilt your pelvis back. If this is where you stay, stay here. If you are more flexible and you can flat back, walk yourself forward, go ahead and do so. Listen to your body. Again, don't round and pull back. We're really thinking about coming forward here. So you really get that stretch through the inner thigh and groin area and your lower back. It's not about where you can put your body. It's about how your body feels. So everybody's not going to look the same doing these, and that's absolutely okay. Let's come on back up. Bring your feet together. Grab onto your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Pull forward again. I like to push my thighs down with my elbows because my thighs are not going down where I'd like them to be. And it helps me really get an effective stretch. And now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to inhale and then exhale and fold forward, but chest stays lifted. So for you, it maybe you won't fold any more forward. I'm really not. Or maybe you can put your hands down on the floor and fold over your legs. Do whatever works for you, keeping this length through the spine. Mm, come on back up. And cross your legs. Um, so you can sit legs crossed or you can put one in front or one on top of the other, or you can do a full lotus if you're so inclined. We're going to sit nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, fold yourself forward. This time, if you want, you can round down once you get there and let your body relax. You should still be feeling the stretch in your lower back and in your top hip. One back up and then whatever hand, uh, foot is on top whatever leg is on top or in front you're going to put that same hand behind press into the floor get nice and tall put your opposite hand on the knee inhale and exhale and twist think about getting taller as you twist like a corkscrew and then back to center and we're going to switch the legs so the other leg is in front or on top And again, nice and tall. Inhale, exhale, fold it forward, straight spine, relaxing down. Opening that hip, opening through lower back. Deep breaths. And then come on back up. Same hand as the top leg comes behind, presses into the floor to make you nice and tall. Other hand comes to the knee. Inhale, exhale, twist, look over your shoulder, tummy stays tight. Thinking about getting taller as you twist. And then back to center. Sit any way you're comfortable, shoulders down away from the ears, and let's drop the ear to the shoulder. Just let the weight of the Ear hang down towards that shoulder. If you want, you can reach the other arm down to the floor, flex the wrist, or you can tuck it behind your back. Some people like to put a hand on their head for a little additional weight. And then both hands come to your lap. We're gonna roll the chin down, look straight down. Look center, look up. And center. Reposition, nice and tall, shoulders down, tummy tight, other ear to shoulder. And again, you can reach your arm out to 
side, you can tuck the hand on your back, you can put your hand on your head. Don't push with your hand, just let the weight give you a little additional stretch. Release your hands to the center, roll the head down. If you'd like, you can clasp your hands, put them behind your head, inhale, and then exhale and pull your elbows together, lengthening through the back of the neck. Release the arms, head comes center, head looks up at the ceiling, Head comes back center, nice and tall. Look over one shoulder, drop the chin, look behind. Actively push the other shoulder away. And then back center, look over the other shoulder, drop the chin, push your opposite shoulder down. And lift the chin back to center. And let's inhale up. Exhale, press it out, and inhale up, and exhale, bring it into chest, namaste. All right, so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, happy Easter to any of you who are celebrating Easter Sunday, and um, keep in touch. I hope to see you all soon. Bye.